Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started on this video, guys, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 145,000 subscribers. And I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description and they are on the pinned comments of this video. Please follow me on all of those. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And YouTube, as you guys know from my other video, YouTube has been screwing me over lately. Taking away views from my view counts. I've literally watched it change. I've lost like hundreds of views. And then I will lose like on my previous video or the one before that about the Midnight Man. I lost, uh, I think it was like 75 likes they're just i messaged them about it they're just like well we will delete the ones that we think are marked invalid so i'm just like well i kind of earned those you know like people clicked like on my video because they enjoyed the video you have no business removing the likes from my freaking video like i earned those and i know it might not seem like a big deal to you guys but it's a big deal to me so hit the like button too guys please hit the like button and also refresh the page and let me know if your like stays there or if it goes away or what happens because uh i i feel like i'm being blacklisted maybe it's because i'm a horror channel and YouTube's so freaking sensitive these days about everything. And I'm pretty sure this video is going to be like <clears throat> completely wiped off the grid because it's about Momo. But anyway, guys, enough of the YouTube rant before you guys start commenting. Oh, video starts in two minutes in the comment section. Just stop. All right. I know. All right. I sometimes need to vent. I'm just a human being, you know, guys. No, but seriously, guys, uh, YouTube has been screwing me over, but that's for a whole other video. Today, we are talking about something that was a popular thing a long time ago, and for some reason, it started coming back again. It's like all over the place. And that, my fellow friends, is Momo. So we all know Momo at this point in time. Like, she was pretty popular like a year ago or something, and... Uh, it was just like a scary thing, like a creepypasta, just a stereotypical creepypasta. I would guess no different than the Slender Man and Candy Man and Bloody Mary, those kind of things. It was just one of those. But for some reason, it came back. So I want to talk to you guys today about something that's going around called the Momo Challenge. And it's it's pretty disturbing, but a lot of it is debunkable. And uh there's something I want to ask you guys at the very end of this video, so stick around. All right, you guys, so there was an article posted on the Daily Dot warning parents to watch what their kids are looking at online and be careful and stuff because apparently there has been some suicides across the world because of this Momo challenge. So as you guys can see, the title is The Momo Suicide Challenge on YouTube is Terrifying Parents. Woo! A creepy photo of a female sculpture with long black hair, bulging eyes, and a grin that stretches across her face has ricketed around the internet for the past few years. But the character, named Momo, has recently begun to infiltrate YouTube videos meant for kids and has apparently been promoting suicide and other dangerous activities. Oh my god, this sounds freaking terrible. This sounds terrible. Let's keep reading. According to the numerous reports, children have been watching Peppa Pig and Fortnite videos that then feature Momo instructing viewers to self-harm or perform other dangerous stunts. Now we're gonna debunk this in just a second because we don't want another apocalypse freaking 3.0. We're already in the middle of the second apocalypse. The Manchester Evening News reported that a primary school in the UK sent out a warning to parents saying, these video clips are appearing on many social media sites and YouTube, including the YouTube Kids app. One of the videos starts innocently, like the start of a Peppa Pig episode, for example, but quickly turn into an altered version with violence and offensive language. Examples we have noticed in school include asking the children to turn the gas on or find and take tablets. This is disturbing stuff, man. Really disturbing stuff. One UK mother told the Daily Mail that her eight-year-old son began seeing Momo in some of the videos he watched. Lynn Dixon said her child then became scared of the dark and didn't want to be left alone. 
He showed me an image of the Momo face on my phone and said that she had told him to go into the kitchen drawer and take out a knife and put it into his neck. Dixon told the newspaper. We've told him it's a load of rubbish and there are bad people out there who do bad things, but it's frightening, really frightening. He was terrified and wouldn't sleep in his own bed. And then we got to the bottom of it and we explained it wasn't real. Other police officials though warn the Momo challenge is really run by hackers looking for information and data. As creepy as she looks, Momo isn't going to crawl out of your child's phone and kill them. That's Samara Morgan's job, not Momo. She can't do that. The police service of Northern Ireland wrote on Facebook, the danger lies with your child feeling pressured to either follow the orders of any app via challenges or peer pressure in the chat room and the like. This is merely a current attention grabbing example of the minefield that is online communication for kids. In 2017, it was Blue Whale. Now it's Momo. There'll be something else next. According to Know Your Meme, pictures of the sculpture first appeared on Instagram in 2016, and by 2018, Momo was being used on WhatsApp as a disturbing suicide challenge game similar to the Blue Whale Challenge. The game has reportedly been blamed for teen and preteen suicide in Argentina, France, and Belgium, though it's unclear if there's any link between Momo and the deaths. Momo made its way to YouTube last year as a number of content producers created creepy 3am Momo challenges. Some of those videos received millions of views. Now, Momo is reportedly being spotted in the kids app. It's yet another problem for YouTube and its kids app. Last week, it was revealed that a mother discovered a children's video that had been edited to include an old skit by Filthy Frank instructing how to self-harm by cutting your wrists. We appreciate people drawing problematic content to our attention and make it possible for anyone to flag a video, YouTube said in a statement. Flagged videos are manually reviewed 24 seven and any videos that don't belong in the app are removed. In 2017, a number of bizarre and obscene videos that featured Frozen's Elsa and other superheroes were discovered on the kids app. Videos of conspiracy theories had also been previously seen on the app. As YouTube usually says in situations like this, it still has more work to do to keep kids safe because people continue to find ways to make disturbing content available for them to watch. Now here we have some updates, guys. This is what's going on now. This update was on February 26th. YouTube told the Daily Dot it had no comments on the Momo challenge. The update on February 27th was YouTube telling the Daily Dot on Wednesday that it had found no cases of the Momo challenge on YouTube or on the kids app. Contrary to press reports, we've not received any recent evidence of videos showing or promoting the Momo challenge on YouTube. <coughs> A YouTube spokesperson said, content of this kind would be in violation of our policies and removed immediately. According to YouTube, stories and videos that have raised awareness or discussed the news of the Momo challenge are allowed to stay on the site. Otherwise, promoting the challenge is not permitted. YouTube said it has not received any flagged links from users showing Momo challenge videos that violate the site's guidelines. All right, guys, so that is the end of the article. Now, apparently there's like, this this is blown up it's exploded all over the place now people are doing it even more like more videos about the 3 a.m calling momo and stuff like that now i am not promoting this at all i do not recommend anybody attempt it uh just because it's it could be dangerous i don't know for sure but it has been said by youtube they posted on twitter and everything saying they've been investigating this and they found absolutely no clips of uh momo in peppa pig videos or anything like that on the kids app um there's videos on youtube but they're not promoting the challenge they're just people doing videos like calling momo and stuff like that there is no video that's encouraging suicide or anything like that that being said if you are suffering from anything there is a lot of like depression helplines look it up and get help please do it there's no excuse to kill yourself. But that being said, guys, there is a lot of people calling this number, calling Momo, but I tried looking around and uh, most of these YouTubers are total bogus. Like there's so many of them that are just liars and they fake it. And it's, it's clearly somebody with a Momo mask or something. And 
they're just calling their friend on WhatsApp because they never show the goddamn number. They never show the phone number, so it could be anybody, and people actually believe this garbage is true. They believe it's really happening. I have been looking around, guys, and I've tried to find a number because I'm planning on calling it for a video to see if this genuinely works or not. I did find a couple of numbers. Some of them didn't work. So if you guys know any of the numbers that are supposedly going to work, I know there's the Japanese one, but that one doesn't work either. Is there any more that work? Um, WhatsApp or Facebook. I've even been messaging some of the pages on um, Facebook because there is Facebook pages that will reply to you. So I've messaged them to see what will happen. And... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and find out more. But let me know in the comment section if you know if there's any of these numbers that are still active. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious and I really wanna try it. But most of these YouTubers that you're watching, guys, they're all fake. And yes, I'm calling them out, they're fake. They're not real. If they were real, they would show you the number, but they're not. And they're not just not showing you the number to protect you. They're not showing it because they're calling their friggin' best friend or something like that. And they just changed the no name in their phone to Momo. So it's as simple as that. That's why people fake things on YouTube. But you guys know me. I'm all about keeping it real. And I'm genuinely curious about what happens. And I'm pretty sure I'm... I mean, I hate to brag, but I think I'm the guy that like started the whole thing with the phone calls. Because ever since I did that like a couple of years ago they just blew up like everyone started doing it calling this person at 3 a.m calling this person and i think i started that like it's pretty cool to think that i actually started that because i was like the guy that was known for phone calls like i you could search me on youtube and i was the guy that was like known for phone calls so that's pretty crazy and now like everybody's doing it because it was a very popular uh i guess it was a series like it was a very popular one it got me millions of views so over the years so I'm thankful for that in a way, and I am wanting to call Momo to see what happens, so let me know in the comment section, like I said, if you know any of the numbers that are still active. But thank you all so much for watching, guys. My question to all of you for question of the day is, do you believe this is true or not? Personally, I don't. I think it's just another, like, urban legend kind of thing, and I think it's another, the press is really going in on this, and they're trying to make YouTube look bad, because as we all know, the media is suffering because of YouTube. The YouTube gets more views than the media. YouTube is losing, uh, me the media is losing like revenue, it's losing viewership, it's losing control over the society, whereas YouTube is starting to gain control. They don't like that, they have competition. That's why they're constantly trying to bash YouTube and trying to get ads pulled off YouTube and hurt YouTube basically. That's what they're trying to do. So I think it's just another stunt, just like they tried to do with Slender Man a couple years back when those two girls freaking like stabbed one of their friends or something they did the whole thing about slender man and tried to get creepy pasta shut down and stuff like that because of it it's just crazy it's crazy the media are freaking vultures guys they are vultures they are fake news just don't trust them they're just trying to they're trying to hurt anything that they have competition with but thank you all so much for watching like i said that's my question put it in the comment section do you know any of the numbers and do you believe this is real or not also guys hit the like button please hit the like button down below it really helps me out and uh as you know youtube's been screwing me over lately with my channel just destroying my views and my likes and taking things away from me and it's crazy. I just don't. I, I don't understand. I really just want YouTube to go back to the way it used to be in the glow, the glory days of YouTube back in the old days when everything was great. So hit the like button, guys, if you enjoyed this video. And remember, likes save lives. One like equals one save a life. So if you're happy that I'm alive, hit the like button. If you want to see me die an extremely painful death, and z z z I almost said Zozo, and Momo comes and kills me right here on this chair. If you want to see that hit the dislike button. And if you guys are still watching right now, look in the bottom of the description. There is a secret comment code. Shh, don't tell anybody though. It's a secret. Put that in the comment section. It proves to me that you watched the video till the end and you found it. But thank you all so much for watching. Remember the most important thing, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you all. And don't believe everything you hear on the internet. Peace out, guys. I love you all.